Hi guys, this is the follow-up video to the Husenvel Ultimate Plus pedals. I've had them for a week now and I thought I'd just share my thoughts so far. Uh, firstly, apologies for the sort of low quality second webcam. It's a really old Logitech um, to face the pedals. I thought you might prefer to see the pedals for this video. So I've put a, a little light next to it so you can... So you can see it's only 30 fps though so it might look not as smooth it's, uh, it's all i had you know webcam wise um but yeah i could see that it looks kind of clear so firstly big thumbs up uh the thing that surprised me most it's not so much the brake although yeah the brake is amazing but um it's the throttle because it's quite a bit stiffer than the fanatec v3s i didn't realize how much more accurate I could be like on uh, long corners where you're holding the pedal at a specific amount. Um, normally I'd be fidgeting a little bit back and forth to find the right amount. But on this, it's uh, much more natural. So I totally didn't expect this, but I've actually gained a little bit of pace. Which has really surprised me. Um, on Hungara Ring, uh, I beat my all-time best by about four tenths. Uh, and that's in the Lexus, using the Lexus. I'm normally quickest in the Porsche. I actually beat my Porsche time with the Lexus, which was uh, quite a shock. Then uh, Monza yesterday, um, I gained... Uh, I'm, I'm about seven tenths uh, quicker over my previous best using the Aston. Uh, that was a big surprise because... You know, there's not much to Monza. It's just a couple of chicanes and uh, a couple of corners. And Kyle Army, I'm about four tenths quicker as well. Uh, those are the only three tracks that I've uh, been driving the last week. Uh, so I don't know if... Uh, the only thing I can put it down to is the pedals. It's really, you know... It's, it's really good. That throttle is amazing. And when you push it really fast, that's when you feel the damper. So you get that little bit more resistance. And because it's a one-way damper, it returns just as quick as you can return it, so it doesn't hinder lifting off. So, brilliant. Uh, the, the only thing that I, I should probably look at, the clutch is quite loud. Don't know if you can hear that, but uh, it might just be the, the noise from the damper. But, uh, yeah, there's like... Uh, a fairly loud squelch going on there. Maybe that's normal. Um, I've I've got some uh, dry lubricant WD forty, so I'll uh, I'll go round it all. So I've literally I've not adjusted anything on this. I just fitted the pedals and just started using them. And the brake still feels a bit too firm for my liking, uh, but it it works amazing. So I'm gonna I will start tweaking it and uh, probably soften the brake up a little. The throttle I'm going to leave alone because uh, I can't see how it could really improve. I, I think it's perfect for how I like it now anyway. Uh, so here we go. This is how you adjust things. It's very, very simple. Plug it into your USB and uh, it didn't have to do any kind of update or anything. You just download the smart control version 1.4.1. That's the one I'm using. So you open that up. And then, here you go, you're greeted with, it auto-loads your, uh, the last profile you used. So, this is where I'm at. I've actually reduced the force to 30 kilograms. Because it's, um, I'll probably take that up a little bit, where I'm, you know, my 35 or 40, once I soften the pedal. Uh, I'm going to go with a slightly softer elastomer. And then I'll probably take that up a bit. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the rubber stiffness thing does here. I mean, default it's soft. So, I mean, uh, that's where I'm like comfortable breaking up to 45 kilograms. But when you're in a long race and you're hammering up to 45 to slam on, I did have it set on 45 and my leg was killing. So, I thought, right, I, I'm a wimp. I openly admit that. Took it down to 30. But it'll probably I'll take it back up when I change the elastomers. 
which are nice and easy to do on this. So it only takes a couple of minutes. So dead zone at the bottom, I've got that set to 6%, so that that little bit there, that's me, I can I can rest my foot on the brake without causing any braking. Um, so the throttle, I've got a little bit of dead zone at the bottom, and then at the top, if, <coughs> if you notice, this is, um, I've got load cells on all the pedals, so that's where the maximum travel is. See that blue bar? That's where the throttle is bottomed out. If I press it harder, see the load cell is picking up, me pressing firmer. Uh, so dead zone at the top, I got set to 6% because there was, um, did I, I did have it set to 5 uh, but there was a couple of times when I glanced down in ACC and I wasn't quite squeezing it enough for full throttle. So uh, cause I was, I'm you know, still getting used to the, the stiffer throttle. So, yeah, that's great. The clutch I haven't really done much with. Uh, I've used it a little bit in our factor just to get it set up. Uh, that feels good as well. Just that uh, squelch on release. I'll see if I can quieten that down. Uh, so, calibration, dead easy. Just, um, what should we do now? Let's, let's calibrate the throttle. So, select pedals for calibration. Let's just select. Actually, no, I'll tell you what. Let's select the clutch. Make sure the pedal's in the rest position. Click next. Press clutch all the way down. And that again, you can see when you press harder, you, know, you get the full deflection of the load sum. Click next, save calibration, and you're done. So it's really it couldn't be simpler. It really is uh, nice and simple. So instead of using uh, like an R factor two when I'm doing a launch, I normally use the paddles on the wheel. So uh, I, I'm going to use the pedals, the the clutch pedal, since I paid for the thing. So I may as well use it. Um, so this, I mean, that there's not that much else to really show. You can change the curve, and in the radio-controlled world, like radio-controlled cars, uh, helicopters, planes, you have something called exponential. So at the moment, this throttle is set to linear. That preset. Let's set it, set it to slow start. So if you imagine now, when you're starting to press the throttle, this means that you're going to give less. So I'm holding it at about... Right, holding it at about 25% throttle. So if I change that now, you can see my input is much, much higher at the same amount of throttle travel. Uh, so you can, you can change it to be... Or you can have custom. See that the first half of the travel will be quite soft throttle input, so you can be very fine in your uh, application of the throttle. And then as you get close to the end, it'll ramp up to full throttle really quick. I don't see me personally getting any use out of this. I like to often just linear. It was the same with radio controlled cars and helicopters. I, I believe most things linear. The uh, cyclic on the helicopters. If I had it set up really aggressively, I'd sometimes soften the centre a tiny bit. But for the most part, I prefer just leaving things linear. Um, so I'm sure some people will get use out of that. So when you've when you've finished your setup, click Save Active Active Profiles to the EEPROM. The EEPROM is the um, you're saving it to the pedals. Basically, it's the it's the storage memory uh, as such in the pedals. So. That means that that's going to stay like that when I load up the PC. So you don't need to calibrate. It was strange because you don't need to calibrate this really in any of the sims. Um, what did I have to do? The set of course, it, it just worked. I didn't have to do anything. Uh, R Factor 2 had to just assign the pedals to be throttle, brake and clutch. But then it, it's controlled by this software. What else did I try? The regular set of course, uh, that needed the pedals just to sign in. 
Uh, I think I had to calibrate that. But I racing there's one where you do have to calibrate it. It's got its own own thing where you know once you first go into i racing with the Houston Velt pedals, you have to set it up and set it to four thousand and ninety six. You know, just just bottom out the pedals and then you're done. Uh, so it it's it's one of the easiest pieces of software to set up. It could look prettier or have more features, um, but it does everything you want. Um, I don't think I would need, I don't think of anything else I'd need, just being able to set dead zones and then um, change the force in, in increments of one as well, so you can adjust quite finely. Um, I'd like to know what that meant. If anyone knows in the comments, what does that do exactly? Because <clears throat> I've I've tried it on both and can't say that I noticed anything. Um, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that at the bottom that's to reset it to the the profile to default. Um, so that would just set it back to the default dead zones. Uh, is that everything? Oh, sorry. There's one more thing. You can save profiles to your. Hang on. How do I do this now? Right, so this profile, if I wanted to save it, you click Save Active Profile to Disk, and then you see these two here. It'll just save it in your doc in the Documents folder. You can put them somewhere else if you like. Uh, so this is the uh, name. This profile to save it, and now if we wanted to to load that same profile again. That's it, you're done. Uh, you can select what you want to load and save individually. And that's, um, that is it for the software. So it literally couldn't be easier, really. I'm really impressed with it. So let's just go for a short, short drive so you can see the pedals being used. And there we go yeah I, I I'm gonna have a little fiddle with them this week uh, just fiddle with the break the break um, see if I can make the clutch any quieter and that that's pretty much it it's like kind of a set and forget thing what I noticed was specifically Angara a ring in the Lambo yeah go on um, what was I going to say? Yeah. After the first, um, say, two days. You know when you get new equipment, like a new wheelbase? Um, it takes days and days of year. You get in, you think, ooh, nice new wheelbase. Still getting a feel for it. But with these, on the second day, I reached the moment where I forgot that I was using new pedals. Um, it's kind of like when you've got some headphones that are really comfy. After a while, you forget you're wearing them. That's how I felt with the uh, with these. So my old Fanatec V3s are going to be put on. Um, just load it. It's 24 degrees. Yeah. yeah, my old V3s are going to be put on the the backup rig. That's the rig I'm going to be using for like testing other products that I buy, that sort of thing. So I'll put them back on there, and then I'll be able to try them sort of back to back you know going between each of them um to see what the like average lap time differences are but yeah definitely i couldn't be happier i know they're not cheap but they are amazing something i would like to do and i probably will is buy a heel plate that's um that's not integrating into the pedals because i'd like to mount them straight to the profile and that way i can have them a bit further apart I'd love to do that. That's, it. That's something I would change about this, uh, the heel plate, this, the Husing Velt one. I'd like it to be just say two inches wider so you'd have a bit more adjustment. But putting it's, most people just put these straight onto the profile, you know, and not have a heel plate at all. But I like to have a heel plate there to, to rest my feet on and it look presentable. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's have a little drive. Um, 
Hopefully you can still see the pedals, hopefully we haven't disappeared. Yeah, let's have a little practice with the Lambo. Um, was it yesterday? Oh, God. I know it's not on the pace of the others, but I might have to use it in a race sometime. So I'm absolutely over the moon with these pedals. Uh, I really don't know what else to say. I was nervous of uh, spending that much. They are so expensive. But I imagine the sprints will be on the same pace. Because like Chris... Um, Chris Mansell yesterday when we were racing on Monza he if you've seen the video he's got the sprints and we had the exact same lap time literally the exact same in the qualifying which is uh, kind of uncanny so we were both using using belt pedals I don't think there'd be anything to gain I have by upgrading from the sprints to these other than if you just wanted to I don't think you'd gain any I'd be surprised if there was any pace to be gained going from the I mean the Fanatex are very nicely made here, yeah, they're really solid um, there's not much that I'd change about them really but uh, for whatever reason Um, I am quicker with these. So, yeah, nice and happy. Just going to take a while to uh, take my credit card off now. It's not simply an addiction, it's uh, a way of life sim racing this. Nice car to drive this. Got a race coming up uh, Wednesday. We've got a Porsche Cup race. Starting at 8 o'clock, so hoping a few people join in. It's on Brands Hatch, so hopefully that'll be a lot of fun. That's with the Sim Seniors group. I'm enjoying them um, sort of league racing more than LFM now. LFM's really frustrating with all the crashing that that goes on. So I will do the odd LFM race, but uh, I'm not as hooked on it as I was. It's quite disheartening when you you see all the crashing that goes on. I was watching Dave Cam's videos. His last few videos, he's just been getting smashed into all the time on LFM. And he's getting frustrated with it, and you, you can see why. Yeah, right, I'll, uh, I'll leave that there, because I need to go and do a bit of practice. So, I mean, that's it. Um, I can't think of anything more to cover if there's anything you you want to know um just just ask me in the comments and i'll uh, if i can answer it um i certainly will and if you need if you want to know anything about the software that i haven't covered you know just uh, ask away so hopefully that's uh, clear enough for you to see there's other people like um, uh, Barry from Sim Racing Garage. He did uh, a really detailed video covering this software and uh, covering the sprints. Uh, I don't think he covered the Ultimate Pluses, but uh, his uh, 
this video of the sprints was really good, really detailed. And Boosted Media um, has done a lot of really good pedal videos. So, um, yeah, that's about it. There's nothing I can cover that hasn't already been covered by, you know, um, by other people. So I think that's about it. So if you if you want to know anything more, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you want me to put a pedal cam in when I'm racing, let me know, and then I'll I'll look into maybe buying a second. Uh, webcam next month to aim at that so that's about it now cheers for watching hope this has been useful see you later